Well, welcome everyone. Just want to do a quick video about the O2 sensors. So I know I've got to do a video about the uh, throttle restriction changes, um, but I can summarize that ahead of time by saying it actually worked. Um, I was able to get into uh, throttle map areas, um, particularly in fifth and sixth that I uh, wasn't able to get into before. Um, so that worked quite well. Well, I've done a, a few things. So I did some uh, drag racing and that was very interesting. I've got some good logs from that showing uh, wheelies on sort of launch and whatnot and also wheel spin. So I was getting a bit of wheel spin on the, on the uh, drag strip track. But anyway, um, what this one's about is my O2 sensor delete failed. And given I've got an SP, that's quite significant. It failed not as a surprise. I sort of, what I'd made was a, a temporary one anyway. And, uh, you know, I've made effectively another temporary one. So the initial one I made, uh, I sort of demonstrated it previously. I had designed up a PCB for, but never actually sent off to get that made. Um, that's, I've actually done that this time and uh, it, it's in the post and I'll sort of present it when it comes in. But the initial board worked and I was sort of okay to just use the, the prototype. The reality is I didn't go to the effort of using any sort of conformal coding or whatever. So uh, it ended up corroding, um, which isn't a big deal. Um, it just sort of motivated me to go one step further. But while I'm waiting for the boards to turn up, I thought, well, I'll make a different design. So this one's actually just made on a 555 timer um, and... Don't know how much we'll be able to see, but yeah, it's just dead bugged in there. Um, and uh, yeah, mainly I made this, well, one, because I need, well, not don't need, but I really want my cruise control working. And I wanted to see if it would work. And, uh, and yeah, so I thought I'll shut up because I'm about to um, completely pot it in epoxy. Uh, it does have the, oops does have the conformal coating on it and um, yeah it's it's pretty small so that should tuck away reasonably well so I've got my uh, oops got all my uh, O2 sensor connectors so yeah just going to use up one of those and uh, and uh, give it a quick test and then completely pot it because yeah the the big issue was it wasn't so much that it was water getting in there directly um it was just humidity and condensation in the cold and yeah i've done a, a few rides in some really really cold conditions lately um where any sort of humidity just turns to turns to condensation and yeah it was enough to just corrode the board um but yeah so I'll get the wiring this up and uh, get it connected to the bike. 